I've been getting ready for this for feels like the last month or two now. I've been like kind of slowly preparing leading up into this. We got an updated rack. We'll show you guys everything once we uh, get to Alex. I'm not gonna set the rack up right now. I got a bunch of dollar books over here. Me and Sarah were actually just talking about that. If you guys look over here, this is all of our pre-priced comics. So I'm trying to make sure we bring as many of these as we can. These are all pretty much like really nice variants, key issues and um, like a lot of the keys and more expensive books. And then these are our um, like dollar, books. dollar books here. Yeah, so just a bunch of cool books. Everything's in like pretty nice shape, but we got a deal going on where, uh, what was it, 50 for 40? Yep, $50 books for $40. Yeah, I felt like that was a pretty cool little deal. It was pretty much the same thing as the 25 for 20 that we did the last show. We're not gonna be able to bring all the dollar books. As you can see, I got a lot of boxes of dollar comics here. So unfortunately, because we only have two tables and we have all those pre-priced comics and keys, we're not gonna be able to uh, bring all these. So we'll put all the information and stuff like that in the description, so keep an eye for that. But we're gonna be having a huge dollar sale. Look at this thing too. This is really cool because Upper Deck sent us the art print last time, the last one, and they told us we could just put it on the wall or do whatever we wanted with it. And I really did want to keep it, it was awesome, but we ended up raffling it off at the last Thrifting Comic Show. So they sent us another one and it got here just in time, like perfectly for the Thrifting Comics event. So I was like, hey, let's just give it away again. So I don't know which one it's gonna be. It's, um, it might be the limited one or it might be the uh, the regular one. What is the, what are they numbered to, do you know? I think it's 250 and 150, I think. I think it was like the same uh, print as the last one. Yeah, there's one. not a lot of these at all. Mm -mm. And it says, it'll say it on the uh, actual poster. All right, here we go. Let's Ooh, see what it, it looks like. It is a cool like. little box, a little triangle box. I know, it got a little dinged up in, in the mail, but that's all right. Hopefully it's good. All right, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's open. Oh, this is cool. Ooh, that is a cool little box. All right, looks like it's good. What does this say here? What is that? Authentic Upper Deck Mum. Memorabilia. I got bad eyes. <laughs> memorabilia, the world's greatest memorabilia. Oh, this is cool. Oh, whoa, look at that, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So it shows you, it's the Loki God of Mischief, 18 by 24 print, hand numbered fine print, featuring the... Serena Malon. Sticker down there, that's cool. All right, so here's the COA, we gotta keep this. All right, so keep that, so we can give that to whoever the winner is. Be very gentle with it. Oh, that's oh, sick. That's oh, there's sick. The, the sticker right there. Yeah, so you got the sticker. authentic sticker. That is beautiful. I love the colors. Look at the cool background. Wow. Oh, wow. There's the limited number right there. And then you got the limited number. So this one's, what's that say? 27 out of 250. So number 27 out of 250. So we'll be giving this away today at the show. That is beautiful. Yeah, brand new. It's from 2023. It's cool. Yeah, the variant was the... It was uh, the female Loki. Yeah. That's awesome. Super excited to give that away. I'm sure someone will really appreciate cool. it. We'll so we'll it roll it back up. We'll probably just keep it in that box yeah. and then just like show it, you know, when we're giving it away. This is a I don't cool want to mess it up too much. Yeah, cool U line keep box. The, this with it. All right, that's cool. So yeah, awesome. we're going to be giving this away. We got to get ready though. We, um, Alex has told us to get there at 10 o'clock, which the show starts at 11. So not ideal that we only have an hour to set up, but it's only two tables. We got everything priced up. Really the only thing I have to set up is my rack down here. It is a newer version because the older one was- A little flimsy. Yeah, it wasn't the best. So this one's pretty much the same thing, just a little better made, yeah. I guess. And I have, I, I was able to fit an extra rack on this one. So you guys will see it looks, I think it looks cool. You'll have to comment down below because what I did is I put CGCs on the top, but I wanted to uh, have some room for like raw books. So there's like gonna be a row of raw books in the middle and then CGCs on the bottom. So to give it like a raw book with CGC look, I feel like yeah. it'd be cool and like look nice. But yeah, we're ready to go. I'm gonna load up the car. We're gonna be bringing two cars this time because last time it was just hectic bringing all Yeah, my the, car uh, was overloaded. Car. So yeah. we're gonna load up both cars. We gotta go to Home Depot. We're gonna try to get yeah. a, um, what's it called? A, a like dolly. A dolly, yeah, we gotta yeah. get like a hand truck. That's one thing I, I keep forgetting to get one and every time we go to a convention, we gotta borrow one from somebody. And Yeah, so we wanna get our own hand truck. Bug. And then we gotta get some change. Yeah. I had a really hard time trying to figure out what to bring and what not to bring. There's lots of like little keys and variants in here. But um, I had a really hard time trying to price everything up too. 
So I'm hoping what happens is people will just like give us some offers and stuff. Yeah, just make a stack and send an offer. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much, these boxes are filled with variants and key issues. Yeah, much. so we're gonna load up my car with all the black boxes and then we'll put all the dollar boxes in Angelo's guess, car. Let's keep these like this. And yeah, try to just throw them up. Oh yeah, try to keep them in order too so we don't have to re-alphabetize them. We got a good amount of keys this time. It's all keys, I'm telling you. I went through because that's what this box is here. I went through last night. And oh, and took out all the cheaper more, stuff? And took out all the, like these are still good books. Yeah. Like I got the Del Auto variant. You got like some cool variants, number ones, some Daredevil books, some cool books and stuff. But I, I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to waste anybody's time. If you guys are coming out to an event, especially if I'm going to be setting up there, I want to make sure my dollar books are like, these are all I think pretty much good, like three to like five dollar books. I mean, I don't know. You got Batman 52. They're all in really solid shape too. I mean, some modern stuff. And then like we said, we're doing the, uh, that's a cool 50 one. for 40, so. Manchester get Black with the, the head blown off. Short box for a good deal. Yeah, and then these ones are the expensive ones. It's just, it's hard because we have the CGCs also, and you kind of have to bring a mixture of everything because you don't know what people are going to be buying. Yeah, you never know. You, you never know, know who's going to be there, what they're going to want, are so we always want to bring hunting? variety. For some people like dollar hunting, mm -hmm. but some people like the keys, you know, they want to come out and spend their money on keys. And then some people want to buy CGCs, you know? So, so we you got never some know. really cool CGCs. We did sell a lot of cool ones on um, whatnot, actually like yesterday. So Yeah, a lot of uh, Silver, Silver Age, Age ASM. Yeah, I was telling everybody, I was like, hey, if you guys don't buy them now, it might sell at the Thrift and Comics show because I know a lot of people are uh, looking for Spider-Man. So we're gonna finish putting everything in here and then we're gonna run to the bank, run to Home Depot, and then we'll be on our way. All right, we got all the boxes of keys loaded up in the car. So we just gotta put the tables on top. We're loading up the CGCs and then Angelo will load up the dollar books in his car. Look at this box right here. So this is what I like to call the banger box. <laughs> so these are some of the cooler ones. I did put some Scotty Youngs in here because I know a lot of people are Scotty Young fans. So these are like some nicer Scotties, but I got a lot of nice keys. First Morbius Blade, some nice Scotty Young covers. This is a cool one here. Go Scotty Scotty. Yeah, I got the really nice copy newsstand in 294. It's got a little ding right there, but it's a solid one. Amazing Spider-Man 611. This is a fun set here. I got it for a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's the connecting set. It's really cool. Yeah, and then I got the back. We got the Immortal. A lot of these came out of collections we picked up a little while ago, over the last few months. This is a fun one here, the Flash. We got Frankenstein, Low Print Run Ghost Rider. Oh, this is a cool one here too, the Harley. Yeah, I like that one. And then I got these, the Spider Boy. And then we got all of our Golden Age back here. The last time the Golden Age was a hit, I did also list, well not list, but bring <laughs> some Golden Age slabs. So here's our Amazing Spider-Man stuff. So here's some modern ones. You got Amazing Spider-Man 22. And then there's 35. We got this one, 38 out of 7.5. So lots of cool Spider-Man books. Some high grade stuff. This one's cool. The new stand copy on the 9.6. It's some modern stuff. But over here, I got my Golden Age. So like there's the uh, Haunt of Fear. And then there's a couple other ones too, but just a lot of fun books. We got the Resident Evil, and then in this box, pretty similar stuff. Well, we're almost done. We just got to get the uh, CGCs loaded up. About, about it. Got everything together, so we're about to be heading out. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of work loading this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, definitely not fun loading it or setting up and stuff. But once it gets going, then it's fun. Yeah, it's also, we're in a heat wave, so. Yeah, but we got good. everything everything good to go. I got room in there because we got to stop at Home Depot and still get the dolly. So I got just enough room back here. We got our dollar books. We only brought 10 boxes of dollar books just because I wanted to uh, have enough room for all the uh, key the issues and slabs and stuff. We got some stuff in my car. 
and we're gonna put the dolly right here. We're pretty much good to go. That's pretty yeah. much it. Comment down below and let us know what you think of the comic book conventions because they're definitely a lot of work, but when you get there and it's all set up, it's always a lot of fun. Oh, almost forgot. Look at this. Where's our... Uh, the cards? Over here. No, we gotta get our uh, book. Right here. Oh, yeah, we need to get a blank variant Let's for everybody to sign. Let's do the spawn. All right, we'll do the spawn. So we, we've done this pretty much every con, except we forgot to do it in a... Let's see if we can find land, a nicer but... one, actually. Maybe we'll do... We'll do Catwoman. Yeah, there's a cat one. For the turtles. Ooh. Turtle universe. Oh, let's do that one. All right, we'll do that one since the turtle movie just came out. I know, I was going to say perfect. So we're going to have everyone that shows up sign cool. this. And then this right here. Almost and then forgot. we got some cards. So our CGC cards didn't come back yet, unfortunately. But we do have these. These are all the cards that I kind of, uh, I've just gotten over the last like year or so. We got a lot of Pokemon. Like honestly, a bunch of Pokemon, and, but there's some other stuff in here too, like some Disney cards, some gold cards, we got some One Piece stuff, and then some Marvel cards, lots of Marvel cards too. We have the upper deck ones from all the unboxings we've been doing. I love all these cards. So I don't have anything priced up though, is the problem. <laughs> so I decided kind of last minute, I was like, you know, let's bring them. And I'm kind of, they're not even organized either. So I'm kind of just gonna let everybody go at it. And if you see something you want, we're just gonna have to kind of go on the fly and uh, and do it that way. I don't think there's anything in here that's super expensive, but I could be wrong. Um, but the ones we have at CGC right now, I'm really excited to get back. They're in processing of grading right now. It's 49 cards, a little mixture of everything. No sports cards yet, but one day we'll get into sports cards probably. But let's get this in the car too. And then we're officially done. We're gonna head out of here and then uh, we'll show you guys the setup at Alex's.